Hello everybody, today I will be doing another review, and today's review will be off of Gudon. Yes, this is not the, uh, this is the 6 inch Gudon, the one that probably everyone knows, that you've probably seen before, but it's never gotten, but wanted. The articulation is very good on this figure. It goes on the, there is no feet articulation, I don't know of waist, I'm pretty sure there is no, no waist, there's a tail articulation, there's um, arm articulation, head articulation, and something I've never really seen before, but I guess you could call it whip articulation, I don't know what you would call these things on his hands, I guess you would call them whips, so whip articulation. Overall, this figure looks really nice. Like, all the Mebius figures are very good in this line. What is the date of this? I never looked at it. 2006, the date of Mebius. So, it's a 360 head articulation. Um, yeah, 360 all around. And, I don't know if... Yeah, arm is 360 also. I know whip is 360, and I think this, the tail, is not. No, it is. No, it is. Okay. Never mind. It's, it is. And let's do some comparisons. Here he is next to Reed Doraco. Which I will be doing a video on next. Well, actually, after this one that you're about to see. They scale up pretty well. I think the whips are just too big. My personal favorite comparison. Here he is next to Sad Ola. Which I will also be doing a review on. This one I'll do next. And this one I'll do later. Just to let you guys know. They are really cool scale together. They are one of the good figures from Mebius, same year. Yeah, they just, they're just really good together. And here he is next to Godzilla 1975. Pretty good. I mean, you could use them in like a battle. They do look pretty cool next to each other. The only problem is Gudon in this situation is Heisei and Godzilla is Showa. Basically, I give this figure a very good rating. I don't know what to say. I'll say 10 out of 10, but thank you guys for watching and tune out. Peace.